Your soul is not only your true nature, but it is also your true place in nature. We are all born to occupy, serve and maintain our place in the ecosystem of the universe. But these days, we have come to perceive existence as something to consume and use, rather than actually being in it and enjoying it. We belong not only to a spiritual realm but to a physical realm. Did you know that we all have at least one soul place in the physical world? A soul place is a special place where we experience unique feelings of belonging, empowerment, and energy rejuvenation. Many eco-centered cultures knew the places of the soul. Australian Aborigines, for example, believe that each person has a place in the natural world where they most belong, a place that is as much a part of him as he is a part of it. In finding this place, we also find our true selves. What are the places of the soul? Indigenous cultures and shamans have known for thousands of years that there are special places in nature that have a sacred personal connection to us. Unlike our disconnected modern cultures, their awareness of the realm of the spirit allowed them to create ceremonies that are specifically aimed to initiate them into spiritual maturity through nature-based practices. In Australia for example, the Aborigines have a cultural tradition called the walkabout. A walkabout occurs when an Aboriginal youth walks in the bush completely alone for weeks, sometimes months. While young people are wandering, they avoid all human interaction and go in search of a place where they feel at home. Another example can be found among the indigenous people of the Sahara, the Tuareg. Saharan women who are pregnant sometimes walk in the neighboring desert with the intention of finding or being found by a sacred site. The sacred site will be the birthplace of their children. These women report that they do not feel alone or scared because they feel a great depth of relationship with other than humans who live there. Soul places are not only personal, but they can also be collective. Examples of collective soul locations include Bear Butte in Wyoming and Uluru in Australia. There are also places of man-made power such as the Great Pyramids of Egypt, the megalithic temple of Stonehenge and the breathtaking underground passages of Chavan de Wantar. How to find your soul place? Most shamans have special places in nature that have personal meaning for them. These can be places where they enter the spirit realm or places where they first experience their spiritual guides or calls. A place of power or soul can be anywhere, it does not have to be in a distant exotic country. Your place of power slash soul, for example, could be a physical place that a loved one died. Your soul could be near a river or a park, or a childhood home filled with memories. Your soul place could even be the restaurant where your partner proposed to you. Our places of power can be practically anywhere. So how do you find your place of power? The most important thing to watch out for is a place that allows you to experience deep emotions. Pay attention to any place that seems intimate, a place that allows you to experience timeless moments of presence. These places will facilitate your ability to go beyond your five senses and touch something deeper. The place where these moments of transcendence occur leaves a strong mark on our souls. 10 Signs You Have Found Your Soul Place When you are in the place of your soul, you can feel slash think in the following way. 1. If it's a new place, you'll feel a sense of familiarity. 2. Colors may look brighter, almost like a surrealist painting, this happened to me in my first encounter with my soul place. 3. You'll feel a greater sense of harmony and ease. 4. You might intuitively sense that you're finally home and can rest now. 5. The outer terrain synchronizes with your interior landscape, it's almost as though they've been waiting for each other. 6. Even if there's external chaos in this place, you'll still feel internally peaceful. 7. You'll feel inspired and have bursts of creative thought. 8. You'll feel a new sense of freedom and joy. 9. You'll feel introspective and will get to know yourself in deeper ways. 10. You'll feel recharged and energized. Sometimes our places of power can also be places imagined in our minds. If you have already entered altered states of consciousness and pierced the veil of reality, 
you will realize that there is no distinction between each of the different layers of reality. In other words, the places in our minds exist in the world just as much as the places in the world exist in our minds. Your soul is not only yours, but it's also the world's. The universe cannot be completely itself until you become completely yourself. Your soul is in and of the world, like a ripple in a river, a wave in the ocean or a flaming twig in a fire. The biggest flames in the world have all found their sacred places, Moses on Mount Sinai, Jesus in the desert, Muhammad in a cave outside Mecca, Buddha under the Bodhi tree. Your place of power is more than a sanctuary. It is a place, or places, in the universe where you feel at home, where you feel that forces, beyond your control and that you do not fully understand, support you in your quest for personal fulfillment. Where is your soul place? Let us know in the comments. If you want to uncover what has been encoded in your destiny when you were born, there's a free, personalized numerology report you can grab here.